Hey everyone, uh, Simon here again for my second video of the day. Uh, this one's about uh, glyphosate, aka uh, Monsanto's Roundup Weed Killer. Um, before I get into this, uh, I'd like to say everyone please give me a thumbs up if you like this content and subscribe. Uh, that'll help more people find this kind of uh, content down the road. Uh, also, if you hit the, the little bell, you'll get notified when I put out a new video. Uh, YouTube seems to be making it harder to find uh, videos like mine and channels like mine. Hence the uh, full steam ahead. I want to keep going no matter how hard they make it for me. So, uh, let me go ahead and get into uh, this story. It's called uh, Monsanto's Roundup Found in Beer and Wine. Now, uh, people may have been familiar with uh, Roundup. It's been in the story recently. Uh, it's basically what they call glyphosate. And uh, there was a guy who was recently awarded millions and millions of dollars because it caused him cancer. And uh, so this is starting to uh, let the genie out of the bottle, you might say, uh, because uh, a lot of information is coming, about, coming out about how this is definitely a cancer-causing agent. Uh, it's actually been proven to be found in vaccines and to be found in, in breakfast cereals. Uh, this uh, study that just came out is about uh, beer and wine. And they tested um, quite a few varieties. And uh, it looks like uh, 14 out of the 15 brands of beer uh, tested positive for glyphosate uh, Roundup. I don't know what that's doing in your beverages, but it's in there. You need to know. And also in, I think, four out of the four wines that they tested all had uh, this substance, a cancer-causing agent. So uh, let me get into this. A new report by the U.S. Public Interest Research Group uh, concluded that many of your favorite beers and wines uh, sold in the U.S. have the toxic weed killer Roundup in it. Um, like I said, 14 out of the 15 brands tested did have it, and I'm going to name off a few of these here. Uh, they're pretty popular brands. I'm not going to name them all, but ones you're probably familiar with. Uh, you have Coors Light, Miller Lite, Budweiser, Corona Extra, Heineken, Guinness, Guinness uh, Stella Artois, and Samuel Adams, among others. Uh, now, this was even found in... Uh, Organic beverages, some of the wines and beers, whatever, were supposed to be labeled as organic, uh, but yet they had glyphosate in them also. So, uh, again, uh, glyphosate has been linked to cancer. And now, this study uh, came out the same day as a federal court uh, began hearing arguments in a case over whether Monsanto's weed killer uh, caused cancer. Uh, this is in a federal court in San Francisco. Um, as I said earlier, another man was recently awarded millions of dollars uh, because it was shown that um, his use of the, uh, Roundup uh, had caused him cancer. Uh, now, at least one study showed that uh, even one part per trillion um, of glyphosate can trigger breast cancer and disrupt your endocrine system. And these uh, beverages that were tested in this study uh, all had significant levels way above uh, one part per trillion, some as high as 50 parts per trillion. So that shows you um, how severe that problem is. It's definitely something to be concerned about. Uh, if you drink any of those brands, you may want to look into the, uh, the study that I've mentioned. So um, I don't know how you guys feel, if, uh, but uh, you know the comment section will be open. If you agree with me or disagree with me, I'd love to hear about it. But uh, that's the story from my perspective. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.